Hi guys, Lee J2512 here. Uh, I'm back from Edinburgh. I know it's been a few weeks since I've uploaded anything, but uh, I've been saving for this. This is a big kind of event. It was a it was a great event. They for the love of fantasy. I have the little pamphlet here. Uh, if it's okay, let me take this off. Yep, there we go. So this is the this was the event. It's all torn and stuff. We, we got like a bunch of these. But, uh, these are the guests that were there. So we had Crom and David Bradley and every, every, loads of people were there. And that's just advertising the Scottish Comic Con. But yeah, it was a massive event. This was the kind of stuff they had there. It was amazing. Uh, they had Broomstick Rodeo, they had face painting, SFX and prosthetics. Flying the Flying Car was there. The Lupine Dogs from Game of Thrones, wand making. Owls were there, wizard classes, Potter cosplayers. Keep, there was a stage for people to, for the actors to go and uh, do panels on. Food court, lovely food there. Magical Marketplace, it was amazing. I bought so much stuff from there. Uh, then you had the other separate building. There was prop building, wizard chess, a Game of Thrones exhibition with a lot of props and costumes in there. Uh, green screen photos. And then you got the actors hall where all the actors were. Uh, there was a few uh, photo op opportunities there. And there was also socks for Dobby where uh, you donate d socks and they give them to uh, the homeless in Edinburgh, uh, which we did. We gave a couple of packs of socks for them. But yeah, it was a fantastic event. And we also there was also uh, a lot of panels that we were too busy. We didn't like, go to a lot of the panels. We saw maybe one or two, but these were all the panels that were there. Uh, it, was a, it was an amazing event. And because it was amazing, I had to buy a few things. Uh, I don't know where to start. Okay, well, I'll start off with the sneak, okay? The sneak was, there's something here that I have that... Uh, I bought and I'm going to do a separate video on that. This is just a little haul video, but this is separate. So I'll be doing a video on that uh, another time <laughs> just to be a bit mean. It's something that I've not had before. I've never gotten before, but very excited about. Uh, Gemma kind of insisted I buy it, so I did. And okay, so we'll go for this main one. I'm going to be doing some, I'm going to be doing a footage video and in that footage video I'm going to be including some photos of all the uh, photos I got with the actors and I got some signatures which I'm super happy and excited about. I got a lot of autographs. So this is one from David Bradley. Uh, to Alice, Liam and Gemma, best wishes, David Bradley, Mr. Filch. And you'll notice this, if you've been a fan of my channel for a, long, a while, You'll notice maybe three years ago I got this exact same photo signed uh, from the signature shop run by Warwick Davis who plays Flitwick. Um, I got this exact same photo signed and I didn't realise that until after I got it signed and I was very annoyed. And it was also the case for, let me see if I can find it. Uh, it was also the case for um, Commander Mormont, James Cosmo. They, he was also at the event, Liam and Gemma, but Gemma's name is spelled wrong, doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, these are the exact same photos I bought from the signature shop um, multiple years ago, maybe three years ago. Go back and see, you'll see it. These are the same photos, which was, and I, real, I didn't realize it until after I got them signed, I was like, oh, come on. But yeah, um, I got a lot of signatures. So, and then Gemma, <laughs> Gemma's a big fan of Sirio Pharrell, Miltos Yorolamu from Game of Thrones. Uh, so she wanted a photo just for her, so this is hers, <laughs> and fair enough, fair play, fair play. And uh, she, Alice also, Alice got a signed photo from Chris Rankin, I uh, believe in magic, Percy Weasley, and yep, David Bradley. I'm gonna have to get these laminated or something, I don't know what to do with them, just be careful with them. And then we got uh, a signed photo from Stanislav Yanevsky, in other words, Crumb. He was also there. Uh, I'll try and include some photos into the footage video I do of, of all the footage of Edinburgh that I got and yeah James Cosmo was there he was there and the reason I'm like I'm kind of showing all these quickly is because I have other things to show that I'm super excited about so these are all the autographs okay these are the signatures the, the signed photos and everything that I really love um, I also got some things signed that you can probably see right in front of you that I'm more excited about okay so here we have the gregory goyle wand okay now i don't i didn't have this one before all three of these wands pure coincidence i didn't have any of these wands beforehand before going to this event i went 
I, I messaged the Facebook page, uh, the two broomsticks. Now there's sellers of things. I'm actually have their back, their leaflet here. Hang on a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I have it here. The two broomsticks is basically uh, a shop for, and that, this is, that's their address. There, if you live near there, go there. Uh, they sell amazing Harry Potter products. They sell fan made stuff. They also sell um, noble collection stuff, officially licensed stuff as well. So go there. I spent a lot of money on this stall. Anyway, I asked, I've messaged their page before going to the event and I said, have you got these wands that I could uh, buy for, from you to get signs? And then they replied pretty quickly and said, you know what, we have these wands. What we'll do is we'll set them aside for you. You come to the stall and then you ask for them. You say that you message the page and we'll look them for you and you pay for it then. So I did, and I got these three wands. I got Goyle's wands, Percy's wands, and James Potter's wands. Now, I hadn't had these wands before. I was surprised I didn't have them before, but I didn't. So I have them all, and they're all signed. <laughs> I'm so, which I'm so super, excited, super excited about. Now, I got this, uh, this is Gregory Goyle. Now, he's played by Josh Herdman. So here we are. Avada Kedavra. Josh Herdman, Goyle. Um, I'm super excited about that. He was the, the guy's. He's really nice, Josh Herdman. He's super nice. He um he spoke to Alice quite a lot. He uh, liked my tattoos and stuff like that. So yeah, super nice guy. And I want to show off the wand a bit as well because I didn't I didn't have this wand before, and so I'm to be very careful with it. Not touch the signature at all. But. So let's just, we might as well do a wand review. I haven't done one of those in years. So this is Goyle's wand. And uh, yeah, it's super cool. I like it. I got it mainly because he was at the event. I didn't have it before. This is stuck. <laughs> I'm not going to take this out. <laughs> Sorry. It looks, it's, it's a very cool wand. You can see it. It's fine. It's there. You've probably already got it. You've probably already seen videos of it. It's been out for years. But <clears throat> there we go. So thick wand, pretty heavy, pretty sturdy wand. Uh, this is his wand. Yep. And he, I got him to sign it for me. Obviously it costs money to get to get things signed. Um, but it wasn't that expensive. The most expensive one was David Bradley. He's, he got, I got an autograph on a selfie with him. <laughs> he is amazing. He's super friendly. And that was about 30 pounds for, it was 35 pounds for an autograph on a selfie from David Bradley. I can't remember how much. Josh Herdman was, but they st they're they still selling the stock, by the way, on their page. They're still selling the stock, the signed photos. So if you need any signed pictures, go to For the Love of Fantasy on Facebook. Okay, so this isn't sponsored, by the way. I just, <laughs> none of these videos are sponsored. Just assume that, okay? Nothing is sponsored. <laughs> I'm, not th I'm not that popular. <laughs> so, yeah, be careful. It's all dry. It's been dry for like a week. So next up we have, Percy Weasley's wand and uh, Chris Rankin he was the host Chris Rankin hosted the event he was really really nice as well I saw him like all three days so here we have there we go. Liam believe in magic by Chris Rankin Percy and again I'm very lucky that they had this wand because they said they only had one Percy wand left so I'll set that aside over there. Wait a minute. My arms are getting tired. <laughs> and again, another wand I'd never had before, but it's here, I have it. Very cool wand. Uh, these ones are kind of tricky to take out and put back in, so I'm gonna leave this in. <laughs> so yeah, uh, my voice is almost going because I've been doing a lot of talking in the past week. Uh, we left on Wednesday, go back on Sunday, and this is now Wednesday. No, I'm filming this on Wednesday now. I don't know when I'm going to upload it. I need to do other things as well. <laughs> but yeah, very nice wand. I like it. I like Percy's wand. I like the colours of the Weasley wands as well. All those kind of colours are nice. Especially Arthur. Arthur's my favourite. So, let's focus up a little bit here. So that's another wand I got signed by Chris Rankin. Percy. So, put this aside. And I, I, couldn't, I couldn't believe it when I saw it. Because I thought, okay, if, I can, if I'm going to get this signed, then... Oh, I'm going to have duplicate ones, but no, I didn't have these before and I was very surprised about it. Okay, so the last one is James Potter. Um, 
So he's played in the movies by Adrian Rollins and he's also been in um, Chernobyl. Younger viewers won't watch that. It's a uh, he's to Liam all the best from Adrian Rollins and he is super super nice. I spoke to him quite a bit. He's a he's a very friendly guy. Um, yeah, I was kind of surprised. I thought he would be a bit standoffish or I, th I was I'm, I was a bit worried about all of them to be honest. All of the actors. You never know what you're gonna you know. How are you going to be received from actors? Maybe they don't want to be there, but no. Um, all the Harry Potter ones uh, seemed very eager to be there and very talkative and everything. Uh, yeah, everyone seemed very friendly. Now, these these are the ones, okay? Now, on the Sunday, because I went all three days, and on the Sunday I thought, I'm annoyed that I got the same photo signed by David Bradley and James Cosmo. So what I thought I would do, because I bought a notebook, and it's in here. Now, this notebook is awesome for one reason, two reasons actually. The first reason is it's an advanced potion making uh, notebook and it's made by Mina, uh, Mina Lima who make the paper props for Harry Potter and Fant Fantastic Beasts. So they, they made this, it's a, it's, it's a proper book made by them and I thought I have this in my bag, why don't I just turn it into a bit of an autograph book. So I, got, I went around the event and I got everyone to kind of sign it. I think I missed two people. I missed Spencer Wilding, who played, who uh, was the werewolf in Prisoner of Azkaban, and he's also been uh, Darth Vader in Rogue One. He's been in loads of different things, and I also missed out um, Richard Brake. He was the Night King in Game of Thrones for a few episodes. So yeah, uh, I went around to everyone in the kind of actors' hall, and I got people to sign this. And the first one I got was uh, Crumb. I got uh, Stanislav Janowski. I got him to sign it here. He was very happy to be the first one to sign it. <laughs> and uh, next up I got, uh, to the, all the best, Adrian Rollins, James Potter. Did I miss a page? Did I miss a page? Did I miss a page? I don't know if I did or not. I don't, I don't think I did. And then I got uh, James Cosmo over here, for Liam Kind Regards. And then over here I got Josh Erdman again, Goyle, got him to sign it. And then I got, I think, am I missing anyone? No. Then I got David Bradley to sign it. I love David Bradley. And then I got, I can't remember who that is. Oh, James Payton. James Payton, he plays Frank Longbottom. He was there. Uh, Neville's dad, he was only in one photo in the prison, in the Order of the Phoenix, but he was there. And a lovely chap, lovely guy. Um, when I walked up to him, he was doodling on his own um, autograph photos just to make himself look a bit funny. I think he was a bit bored. And <laughs> over the page here, we have uh, Miltos Yorolamu from Game of Thrones. Pleasure meeting you. And what do we say to the God of Death? Not today. Serio Pharrell. And then over the page, we've also got uh, Clive Russell. Clive Russell, he played the Blackfish in Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones. Um, he's also been in a Scottish TV show called um, Still Game and a few other things. So yeah, and oh, I've got one more as well. At the end, I managed to grab Chris Rankin because he was very busy hosting panels and things on the stage. So I managed to grab him before I left. Uh, Percy Weasley. So I got him to sign that. So I've, to, I've turned it into a bit of an autograph book. And anytime I go to conventions, I'm bringing this with me um, to get signed. And last year, um, there was a few people that didn't go this year. Uh, Last year there was Sean Biggerstaff who played Oliver Wood and there was, uh, I forget his name, he played Colin Creevy, he was there as well, um, also the guy that played Blaze, he was there, a, a few people that were there last year weren't here this year, but then again a lot of people that are here this year that weren't last year, like David Bradley, and uh, Adrian Rollins, James Payton, loads of people. So. It's an amazing event, I loved it. Uh, we stayed there for like four hours on the Friday, two hours on the Saturday, two hours on the Sunday, and then we did other things, but I would absolutely recommend going. Uh, we painted wands, well, Gemma and Alice painted wands, and you could, there was an, a brilliant kind of uh, event stall there. I'm gonna try and get them all, hang on. So you could, you could paint wands, so we painted wands, and we, uh, we did, Gemma did one for every house, so she did a few. She did one for every house here, so Slytherin, Ravenclaw, Gryffindor and Hufflepuff, and she also did um, this one here, the purpley one, very nice. Only cost about £4 for a small one, and then you go to a table, 
you sit down and you've got loads of nail polish and you just paint it um air it out a bit because i put these in my bag when they were drying and wow that's all you could smell was the nail polish uh, a couple that um alice painted she was very happy with it <laughs> which i like and yeah and this as well and Gemma, Gemma was kind of insistent she get something else so um if you're a fan of game of thrones you will love this but i decided to buy her the one of the um dragon eggs from game of thrones set this aside over here safely and yeah so not the not the drogon one it's got the regal dragon egg and i might do a proper video on that another another time uh yeah it's very cool they also had the drogon one they didn't have the viserion one but that's only for a game of thrones fan anyway let's set that aside <laughs> Game of Thrones is almost finished now anyway, well it is finished now so, but yeah, I would definitely recommend going to uh, For the Love of Fantasy, I hope it runs next year, I hope I um, can afford to go next year, if it's on, I will definitely go if it is, so yeah, that's it for me, let me know in the comments if you have got, if you've met any of these actors before, and what they were like, if they were friendly to you, and that kind of thing, because uh, they were all great, amazing, fun to me, um, a couple of them, they <laughs> Yeah, so <laughs> I, I will talk to you guys later. Um, look out for my footage video. It's going to be, I'll explain it now, it's going to be footage from the event. Not that much because I didn't take too many videos of it. And then there's some extra stuff in there. So uh, we went to the Greyfriars uh, Kirkyard where J.K. Rowling went to get names to inspire her. So we went there and found, um, we found, we got the name McGonagall, we found Tom Riddle's grave. We found the real Tom Riddle's grave. And uh, yeah, it was amazing. We also went to the Elephant House Cafe where J.K. Rowling wrote the first Harry Potter books. So it was an ama amazing experience. So yeah, I'll talk, talk to you guys later. Bye.